What's up YouTube? Awesome Yugi here and today we're here with a deck profile on Dragoonity. Uh, which I haven't done in a long, long, long time. I think like the Dragon Rulers where when the ruler were uh, rulers were still at three is the last time I actually did a Dragoonity deck, deck profile. Uh, when Raven was at three or Dragon's Ravine. I'm not sure how to pronounce that honestly. Um, but yeah, uh, Dragon's Ravine. I'm going to go with Dragon's Ravine for now, yeah. Dragon's Ravine is back at 2. Um, which is... Yeah, it's pretty good. Well, you, you can play Dragon Eats now. Uh, or you could play with one, but then when uh, Dragon's Ravine would get MST, you'd be uh, not so happy. So, this deck isn't, isn't great as of now. Um, but you can do some really unfair plays. Uh, definitely first turn if you're opening or if you're having the right combo pieces. Uh, so I'll show you the, uh, the list I've been running. Uh, in my opinion, this is the best uh, way to go as for now. Um, this is the Valgrind version, uh, which you can, uh, you know, which you pretty much want to go for the first turn Valgrind. Um, so with Arma, uh, 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 how's that pronounced? Leve Leviton or whatever. Uh, Dragoonity Arma level 8. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, that, that means you can also break a bit more than when you're going with uh, another version of this deck. A uh, bit more like a rank 4, four version of this deck, with, which I've tried as well, but uh, your power plays just, just aren't as good. Uh, so I've been going with this, definitely because I've been enjoying playing this more as well. So for the deck profile, of course, triple ducks. Um, this is your normal summon, this is your go-to guy. Uh, triple Phalanx, uh, your combo maker of source, the tuner. Uh, double Mistletane, and then the one uh, level 8 Dragoonity Arma. <laughs> These are the level 6. Uh, you can special summon him when you have a Dragoonity on field. Um, but he's pretty much combo with, of course, your Red Eyes, Darkness, Metal, Dragon. Um, you're spamming out level 6s. Um, with Vajirana, Gatorg, and, and these two as well. Uh, getting into your red eyes, making King, uh, by King a two in place. Um, Gatorg, you know, recycling uh, Severos, or searching out Severos, and then you're going to ditch Severos. Or if you already have Sefi in hand, you're going to search out a Ducks and ditch Sefi. Or, or even Harpy's Harpist, uh, which can search out Ducks as well when she's been sent to the graveyard uh, during your end phase, of course, that is. Um, so yeah, you have, you have plays here. Uh, this is definitely a high combo deck. That's why I'm also running the one Garuda. Uh, I'm not one to uh, in the any more of a control version kind of. I would run more than one Garuda, uh, but in this one, uh, one is fine. Helps you go off uh, another card. That, and that's pretty much what I uh, I've built this deck t uh, towards. It's just trying to get off first turn uh, as much as possible, uh, if not just as soon as possible in every single uh, duel. Um, so these are the uh, the combo monsters that is. I'm running some combo spells uh, as well of course. Uh, Raven being our Dragon's Ravine uh, being the most noticeable but I'll show you that in a second. Uh, I'm rounding up my, my monster count with double max C. Uh, just a bit of a more defensive card in this deck because you do not run that much defense. Um, your first turn play optimally is going to be going into Valgrind, which is a defensive card, of course, or can act as one. Um, but you do want to have some other options as well. So we are running a very small amount of traps, or actually defensive traps. I'm running one defensive spell as well. Uh, but you do need to have some defense, because you're not always going to be able to go off first turn, and then you will ha want something to fall back on, or just makes it so you don't straight out lose the game, because you didn't open your combo. So that's the monsters. I believe that's 15. Uh, spells, Double Dragon's Ravine, uh, we're only allowed to play two, um, which isn't that bad, because I am running triple terraforming. Um, now, this ratio might seem a bit off, because terraformings can become that when you're already uh, had access to Raven uh, or Dragon's Ravine. But, but that's all good and well, you know. Uh, you just want to have access to one of these as soon as possible, and when you have one and you're able to resolve one, um, you're in a really good position. Your position isn't going to get any better by any other card you would be drawing except for terraforming, which can be dead then, you know. Um, that wouldn't be helping you. Uh, Dragoonity is putting on your uh, it's putting your hand over to a field. Um, so yeah, the triple terraforming. You can go to two, but then you'll be noticing that you um, 
once you raven as much as you'd like to. Uh, also to help with that, some more combo spells is the Dragonity um, Divine Lance. Only two, because this can become a bit redundant while you're already having Raven on the field. Uh, but this can be a substitute for Dragon's Ravine, uh, as well as for Lush Burial, which I'll show in a second. Um, this actually being better, nah, I mean, kind of does the same thing, but um, this gets rid of Phalanxes from the deck, uh, which can be in more dead draws. Um, more combo oriented spells, double instant fusion, um, this of course, I'm only actually running one target, which is the, uh, uh, how you call it, Mavalus, uh, but this is a level 4 wind winged beast, which makes it so you can make Fajirana and Gidurk, uh with him. Uh, when Odin comes out, might splash in a Noden as well, uh, just, yeah, why not. Uh, but for now, uh, you, once again, if you're opening two, then one is dead at all times. Since I'm actually, I really only am running one target. Um, but then you're already making your combo play pretty much. And same with terraforming. It doesn't mean if this is dead in your hand. You, you, you can easily have like four dead cards in your hand when you have a Felgren, an Adam, and a Red Eyes, a Darkness, Metal Dragon on the field. You know, you know what I'm saying. You feel it. You feel it. So yeah, no, that that's fine. Um, then for some consistency draw power, triple upstart and double card of consonants only with the phalanx, but you can actually search out phalanx with raven as well, or dragon ravine, I keep calling it both, um, to definitely if you already have a ducks in field or just dig further in your deck, um, so I definitely like card of consonants, once again can be dead, but uh, that's not that relevant, foolish burial, soul charge, uh, soul charge, nutty still in this deck, um, Raigeki and then the defensive spy I was talking about, one Book of Moon, uh, which I've definitely been liking in this deck. Traps, double Call of the Haunted, um, more nutty stuff, recyclable uh, even with uh, Sephiroth, just as Phoenix Chain, so this is the only, um, no, this is a defensive traps as well, these two are defensive traps as well, warning and emptiness. Uh, these are the only four defensive traps. Uh, this is more of a combo card as well, and then I'm actually uh, attacking one Jar of Avarice uh, because I've noticed that I'm running out of Fajirana um, more than I'd like to, uh, and this really helps with recycling uh, them Duxes and Fajiranas. Um, I, I really, really like Jar of Avarice in Dragoonity. Um, I don't know why people aren't running this. Uh, at least in this deck, I don't like it and everything, but uh, Dragoonity, I've definitely been liking the one Jar. So even like. If you're opening this and you still have like two other combo cards, this is live right away. So, yeah, free cards. That is the main deck, the extra deck. Of course, your one Gaederk, uh, Triple Fajirana. Um, if you were to be able to la uh, run like seven of those, I suggest you, don't, <laughs> you would. Uh, but this is fine as, uh, at one. You can recycle this with uh, Red MD. Um, so that's the sixes. For the eights, of course, you have um, Stardust. This, this is Stardust. Stardust, um, and you, you do need these eights. Uh, I'm running four eights in total, but you do need these eights to get into Felgrand uh, for the combo as well. You're going to go in uh, Arman Leviathan with one level eight synchro, pretty much. Um, Stardust Spark. Uh, this isn't legal in Europe, mind that. So if you're a European player, uh, I am as well, but I, uh, I'm pretty much playing this deck for fun, and then I want to be able to use this with uh, emptiness. Uh, but if you're a European player and want to take this to competitive event, you're not allowed to run this. American players, of course, you can. Um, one starter spark, uh, scrap dragon, and tough ruler archfiend. Now this is actually a, a pressure card against Beer Burning Abyss. So I've definitely been liking this. Um, Burning Abyss had have quite a bit of trouble getting over this. They pretty much need to make acid golem uh, to get over this because um, when you would like when you would use one of your minus one traps, you can just pay a thousand, and you know he doesn't give a shit. Uh, Trident dragon. Um, this is just an OTK card. It's it's kind of nutty, you know. One of your level uh, eights um, with um, phalanx. <laughs> Brain fart out. One of your level eights with phalanx. Uh, then I'm running one rank four, being Axiton, uh, double atom, uh, forty Felgrin combo. You need double atom. Uh, one M seven as the rank sixes, and then uh, the go to guy Felgrin. So this is pretty much um, the XC your um, putting down first turn and then you have your uh, Mavalus as the one instant fusion target so yeah that is it um, 
I'm thinking if I want to do the the combo real quick. Uh, I might edit the combo in after this. Uh, I might not. So I'm just going to say uh, thank you guys for watching and stuff. And I'll see you guys with the next deck profile, which is probably going to be either Burning Abyss or uh, Masked Heroes. And then I'll, I'll try to get stuff for some of the newer uh, art type that came out. Um, see if I can profile something out of that. Uh, preferably for myself, I would like to be able to uh, do a Red Eyes deck profile. Uh, but I'm missing a lot of cards for that. Like a lot. Um, but if I can like trade or something for it, uh, I'll try to get that. And otherwise, um, spoilers. I'm, I'm not sure if this is going up after or before the Clash of Rebellion box openings. Um, so if this is before... Uh, mute me right now, uh, but I did pull like a lot of farm girls, so I might do a Cosmo deck profile, or I'll try to do one. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time, and maybe I'm doing a combo video after I close this. Maybe not. Bye. Uh, all right, and we're back. So I decided to do the combo on the red eyes real quick. Uh, now, there are actually kind of a lot of ways to get to it. Um, pretty much you need to have uh, either like this or something like this with the ducks uh, but you do need to have uh, access to both of these and like instant fusion or garuda would work as well um, but let's say you're able to normal summon this and uh, get phalanx to equip itself so either you have phalanx in grave uh, thanks to dragon's ravine or you're just equipping this and getting this from the deck you know um, just get to this play now of course you do your standard uh, vajirana stuff um, get the phalanx back out with uh, with his own effect. So now you have ducks and grave, which is fair, uh, irrelevant. Uh, from here out, you're either going to go with Garuda, or you're going to go with the instant fusion. Uh, in this case, instant fusion is going to bring out him, uh, which allows you to go into Gator. Now what Gator allows you to do is add uh, one wing beast, we're going to add Sefi, and now you have to discard one, we're going to discard the same Sephiroth. Uh, these are going to overlay themselves, you're going to build the overlay network to go into Adam. Uh, here we're going to detach the Gator, now this isn't that relevant, but this uh, allows you to get some, gain some more advantage for uh, a follow-up. Um, so Adam is going to bring out Red MD. Red MD is going to special summon out um, Gator. Now Gator is going to allow you to get uh, one another wing beast. We're going to get Harpist, uh, discard Harpist. Now uh, this allows you to uh, search another ducks in the end phase, which is good for follow-up plays, like I said. Um, here we're going to bounce the Red MD to bring out Zephyros, banishing the Adam to special summon the uh, Red Eyes Darkness Mental Dragon. And this time you can just put it in the second position, because now it's going to be 2800. Uh, Red MD is going to uh, bring out uh, one of your level 6, so Fajirana in this case, which is still in your graveyard. Uh, they, those two are going to overlay for another Atom. Uh, I suggest you just, you know, discard the Gator, but it doesn't, or uh, detach the Gator, it doesn't really matter. Uh, for Arma, uh, Arma's effect is going to kick in because it's special summon, so let me see if I can. Yeah, right. Uh, equipping Phalanx. Phalanx, of course, can special summon himself, and now you can, uh, with Phalanx and Zephy, go into another uh, Vajirana. And uh, Vajirana, of course, is going to equip Phalanx. Uh, Phalanx special summon itself, special summons itself, so, and then you can go into a level 8 being Scrap or Stardust or Thought Rule or whatever is uh, relevant at that point. Uh, and you can overlay these two level 8s for Valgrunts. So now you have your field of Valgrunt. Red MD and Autumn, and pretty much the Valgrind is going to guarantee that either one of these survives, or he survives himself, uh, or he is just going to stop your opponent um, in his turn, and then in your turn you can protect something of this, uh, which is going to set up for an OTK. And this is like a 8-3 card combo in general, really easy to pull off, honestly. Um, so yeah, I, I just want to show that uh, this little combo, for those of you who didn't know how, to, how this worked, I didn't uh, no, if I had to do this, but just in case. Um, so yeah, that's the combo. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.